Wow, I'm really rocking out to this awesome elevator music. Ah, oh, yeah. Can you dig it? <laughs> Eat up, my lovely little ladies. One day you'll be strong mamas just like yours before you. I had leftover mealworms and regular fishing worms and I was worried about them uh, going bad so I went ahead and decided to just feed it all to them tonight as like a big old feast since they hadn't eaten yesterday. Oh, look at that. Hungry. Woo! What I tend to do a lot of times is, uh, even though I've uh, sprinkled food about I'll see some of the marble crabs or marbled crayfish hiding out in their little hideys, and I will reach in here and there and pick up one and uh, drop it right within their reach to make sure that they get some before the others, because some of them can be pigs and eat, you know, two or three different uh, mealworms before they're satisfied, and I want to make sure that they all get at least a little something. I thought the ladies might want to climb on top of a uh, new lava rock. Gives a little more space for them to move around, and I'll be adding some uh, driftwood in here soon. Oddly enough, I have a little bit more enjoying it. I'm going to watch these videos again, and I speed it up because I, I like to see how quickly they are moving around in there. It's much more interesting. They're, they're kind of slow in real life, so, you know, playing it fast like this, it just, it's kind of uh, fun to me. Uh, it's very nice to see. <laughs> It's looking a little cloudy here in the uh, upper uh, Marmor Crib maternity ward and that's because I had done a little bit of vacuuming there earlier and I uh, switched out the sponges, uh, helped clean them out a little bit uh, on the uh, filters on the left there. Uh, so of course it's a little uh, cloudy but uh, right now uh, I'm just uh, sprinkling some of the leftover mealworms in for the uh, little ladies. They actually love them and will go after them. and. Uh, for those who don't get any mealworms, so they'll get a uh, shrimp food protein pellet, which they also love. Although I will say that I saw one pass up two protein pellets that go straight for the mealworm, so I think there is definitely a preference there. Look at that, a whole mealworm in its mouth. What a pig. There he goes, just off with it. Man, they love those. They will pass up some of those shrimp pellets just for those. I'm trying to find a uh, big mama now, Ebra. She's uh, in one of those flower pots and uh, this uh, LED light is just not strong enough right now. Wait a minute. What? What is that? Up there on the top. What, what am I seeing? She's. She's tucked her tail. Did, did I see a shadow? She's on the right now, climbing up on the round side. I, I'm gonna have to get closer. There she is on the right again, uh, about to come up the back side of the lava rock. Let's see if we can get a uh, better view of this. Here she comes now. I'm gonna have to adjust the camera angle here just to make sure that I'm seeing what I'm thinking I'm seeing. Uh, there, there's, I could have swear I saw a shadow again. All right, here, come on, come on, turn around, turn around. Let's see it. That tail is definitely tucked and it definitely looks dark under there. Let's get a better view. Come on, come on, baby. 
Whoops, be careful, darling. Don't fall down. Guess I'm just gonna have to adjust the camera angle and zoom in for an even closer shot. Oh yeah, there they are. There's that clutch of eggs. She was born the first week of January and here it is mid-April, four and a half months, and she is pregnant herself now. So that's a 4.5 month turnaround time from birth to gestation right there. And into the Rikia Fluotan she goes.